This is the big DIY challenge. In April, DIYers all around the country took on home improvement projects, big and small, that they had to complete within 10 days. Only 10 days. I might be just a little bit competitive, but just only a tiny bit. To the fullest, of course. Yes. <laughs> they must top their category to become a DIY champion, but only one can win the title of Ireland's best DIYer and claim the grand prize of 10,000 euro from Woody's DIY Home and Garden. I'm knackered. And the people making that difficult decision are the DIY judges. Power tool aficionado Michal Dahovsky from Woody's and Jennifer Byrne, TU Dublin lecturer in construction and resident woodworking wizard. Tools at the ready? Let the big DIY challenge begin. Up north in our ma meet Ashlyn Higgins. She and husband Seamus recently took on a beautiful period style home and need a renovation. But before they'd moved in, it was broken into and set on fire. It destroyed all the walls, all the old fireplaces, the windows were all cracked. Not a great way to start our new life and our, our new family home. The couple have slowly been renovating the house since, a room at a time. And next room to be addressed is this still fire damaged study. Before uh, the fire, this was a lovely room, uh, but as you can see, uh, it needs a lot of work. One already renovated room is Ashlyn's office, and she feels now is the time to give her husband a place of his own to work in, in the style of a gentleman's study. I want to bring it back to like an old kind of style, to like a real man's kind of office, you know. I absolutely love DIY. I just love getting my hands dirty, getting stuck in. Ashlyn begins her plans to build a ceiling high bookshelf and she enlists husband Seamus to help with the heavy lifting while she handles the power tools. She begins by drilling holes in the MDF. Well, she begins by trying to drill a hole in the MDF. I need my weed of X. <laughs> Ashlyn, the reason why it's so hard for you is you're using the wrong drill bit and your drill is on reverse. Make sure you check the switch. And also, make sure you don't drill into Seamus. Oh my God, she's going to drill into his arm. Oh, watch, yeah, there we go. She really Yay. wants to attach him to that bookshelf. There we go. We'll check back in in Ashland later to see if this room was finally coming together for husband Seamus, or if she still is drilling. We head back to our ma to check in on Ashland who finally has her bookcase put together for her planned gentleman's study. Though it may be a bit taller than she realised. I know that I'm short, but I didn't think it was this short. Uh, look how tall it is. It is absolutely massive. Old wallpaper removed, Ashlyn sands the uneven wall. The next stage, what we're going to do is put some lining paper on the walls and make the decision that it'll be a better job. Good thinking. Lining paper helps get a flat finish on old walls. Once up, she places the wallpaper over it. The fun stuff begins now, the painting and the sanding and the upcycling. Now cleaned, the old fire-damaged fireplace gets a facelift. High heat black paint. So apparently this is the best paint to use. You can see that, it's coming up. Good as new. Next, she works on the fire-damaged floorboards but she's not alone. Come back an hour later and I'll have it done. <laughs> an hour? I'm not waiting that long. Hi, Ashlyn. Oh, hiya. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, that's such a shock. <laughs> Thankfully, it was a nice shock, but the tables are soon turned, as I learned I've been a part of this couple's life from the beginning. We weren't even going out, but he sent me up uh, your DVD. So that was the first present they ever oh, got you're me. Oh, your DVD. You, and you like, still married them? <laughs> I still married them. Yeah. <laughs> Can't believe it. So you see the trouble I start everywhere I go. <laughs> Speaking of trouble... Oh, for God's sake. Ah. Don't worry, it's only 100 and odd years old. It can't be replaced. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I've loads of it. Yeah, maybe. I'm definitely just slowing her down. Ashlyn forges on, upcycling several items, including this desk. I am done with the top of the desk. 
and she's chosen the material for the curtains. But is it right for Seamus? It is a bit girly, and I know that it is a gentleman's uh, room, but there's a little butterfly on it. What every gentleman wants. Ashlyn's main focus now turns to the wall opposite the fireplace, for which she's ordered an old world map mural, which shows no sign of arriving. The thorn in my side all week has been this wall. Um, my wallpaper mural still hasn't come. Still hasn't arrived. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to arrive. Didn't arrive. I ordered another one. That didn't arrive. So I thank God doesn't want me to have this mural on this wall. Don't worry, Ashlyn. Your very own Mr. Darcy is coming to the rescue. I'm on my way to Offaly. I'll get some mu mural. Knight in shining armor. I'll see you in how many hours? Four hours. <laughs> Okay, I've met it back from Offaly in one piece. And I've got our wallpaper. <laughs> so I guess my DVD isn't her favourite gift anymore. Yeah, I think she's happy. <laughs> I am in love with my mural. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm tired at this stage. I'm exhausted looking at her working. <laughs> Here it is. Ashlyn's entry to the big DIY challenge. A study fit for a gentleman. Looking at the room, it is the way I thought it would turn out, if not a little bit better. And such a beautiful fireplace. I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out, and uh, I'm just really pleased that I was able to restore it back to the way it was, kind of. It can be there for the next hundred years. Ashley, what a lovely gift you've given your husband. It's so much better than the hole in the arm. If you need me, I'll be in my office. <laughs>